Hey Sagittarius, welcome back. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. I'm going to take a look at your love reading for the next two weeks, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please keep in mind some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. If you enjoy my readings, please, please hit the subscribe and the like button. Um, and there is a link in the description box to purchase readings with me. All right, so yeah, it's gonna be the next couple of weeks. So let's get started. Bottom of the deck, look at this. Wow, Five of Swords energy. This represents someone who is very abusive. Someone who is completely unstable, out of control. Um, the Three of Swords causing arguments, disruption, um, a very negative energy. Someone who is just very, I want to say, like, just full of themselves. They think their shit doesn't stink. They're just very, like, just egotistical, right? Um, so this, you know, no, I'm not saying it's you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, someone here who just doesn't think. They just go and do, and they just go around wreaking havoc and causing problems, okay? Right? They probably come across as someone who seems like they're just very peaceful and patient. Wolf in sheep's clothing. I'm sorry, sheep in wolf's clothing kind of energy. But this is also Sag, and this is you right now just trying to get some peace of mind, it looks like. Trying to be balanced. Uh, taking things in moderation. Okay, past energy. Yeah, in your past. A very wicked energy. For sure. Capricorn energy, the devil. Um bondage deception deceit uh someone with those chains like very possessive kind of an energy someone in your past okay yes so right now Sag, you are in blocking mode for sure you have the four i'm sorry yeah the four pentacles so you right now Sag, you're like stay the hell away from me that's your energy, okay? Um, you're pushing back, you're blocking, you're protecting yourself from this devil energy and everything that was showing up here, right? The next two weeks, it's like blocking numbers, blocking emails, um, maybe even, I don't, know, I don't know about hiding, but your defenses are up, right? You know, like how Wonder Woman, she had those wrist um, deflectors, chow, 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 you know, like, you're not letting anybody or whoever this energy is, you're not letting them in. You're, you're very much protecting yourself. Okay. Right now. Now the challenge is for you with the moon is to kind of stay hidden in some way. The moon is a very, it's like you can't really see very much with the moon versus the sun. The sun illuminates everything, right? And you want to be out in the sun. Your head is like, I want to be free and happy and joyous. Um, but you kind of have to hide here with the moon. Things, you're just sneaking around at night maybe. Trying to keep yourself safe, it feels like. A very safe energy. And, you know, what's driving you is like, you're. I feel like the next couple of weeks, you're really going to be thinking things through. And you may be realizing at least what's moving you right now is to be careful where you invest your energy. This is what I feel like you're going to put things on delay and maybe just think about something before you make some kind of move. You know what I mean? I mean, I feel like your headspace is really good with the sun because this makes me get, it gives me a sense of like, you're not really trapped by somebody is how I feel. Um, but I feel like you're protecting yourself from something, but your headspace is positive. It's like, you know what? This isn't going to be forever. I'm going to be free. Um, there is a little baby child here, and this might have something to do with your freedom and happiness that you have in your mind. Um, it could be a grandchild, or it's just your energy wanting to have that freedom, like the child again. And I feel like because your headspace is in that positive outlook, you know, what we think is what comes to us in life but i do see what's driving you is to just maybe be a little more cautious in regards to whatever this devil energy i don't know if it's still present in your life 
but I feel like, you know, whatever was going on here uh, with someone who, you know, was in that Five of Swords energy, which was very, I don't like it. Whatever's going on there, it's causing you to pause a bit more, to delay before doing or moving forward with like being more selective about what you're going to put your energy into or not now what's coming towards you is wonderful you've got a king of pentacles showing up here so this is someone showing up in your life uh showing up in earth energy it could be a virgo taurus or a capricorn but this person doesn't matter their sign they're showing up stable uh they're showing up very business minded like someone who provides this is like the king of pentacles shows up as someone who's a provider they're very reliable and resourceful and domesticated they're solid practical they give good advice they're a good leader they're wise and they like to invest you know what i mean like this this is someone who they the king of pentacles makes me feel like someone who is very foundational you know they're like this the hard structure and the bones of a home you know they they are someone that i feel like is showing up that you can count on you know i don't know if this is love or a love relationship or, or it could be a friend i don't know what's going on but i feel like your advice here is to consider and compromise on something when making a decision it could have something to do with this king of pentacles showing up you know it could be any sign it could be a leo it could be a capricorn it could be a pisces it could be an air sign gemini it could be aquarius libra it doesn't matter it's someone who's showing up here who's going to be a steady force in your life going forward okay now your advice like i said is to you know that two of swords it's kind of like you might need to compromise on something okay because you've got a decision that needs to be made and i feel like whatever this decision is it's coming up in in your life it might have something to do with an emperor aries energy emperor represents in the tarot can be a father figure um this can represent someone who sits in a position of authority respect leadership a strategic planner um a father right could be your father it could be a a, a a father figure that it could be a partner right that there's something here about making a decision about this person and also making some type of a compromise in regards to them now this person who's external to you because it is a love reading right it could be this king of pentacles this person who's showing up very stable i mean this person they're in this friendship circle of support energy they're in this dating they're in this very good three of cups energy okay um family friends uh being very supportive very being very loving they care about you and wow they just want all they just want your happiness this person has a very positive outlook right um i do feel like this person's wish maybe is to have a reunion or reconcile in some way with you but i also feel and i don't feel like it's this devil energy i feel like it's coming in as this this very stable person um they just want happiness and joy emotional happiness and joy and this is what they're bringing and this is what they're providing okay now your hopes and fears sagittarius going forward you have the three of pentacles okay so I do feel like there is this hope that you and another person could be good mentors to someone who's in training under you and them, uh, under both of you, or like it could be like a, something to do with school. There's there's a there's a hope, or uh, it feels like hoping something to do with. It's like you and another person who are in a position of leading it could be parenting it could be marriage hoping for marriage um teamwork see there's three people so it could be you and a person and a child or you and uh, you you learning something from some parents as well or from mentors as well but yeah i do feel like there is this hope that you there's love and a family and uh, that is a marriage card so i feel like you hope for that you might fear that that's not going to happen um you might fear that the outcome is the seven of cups okay with yeah the ten of cups 
and the four of wands i feel like the outcome is there's there's a message here about not being in fantasy land when it comes to the happily ever after the family the home uh, a commitment a love relationship the message here is i feel like you're you're how can i say this <laughs> Because it does kind of come across to me as like an advice, right? Which is why I said, because the Seven of Cups is a card of not being committed. It's having commitment issues. There might be something here about overcoming some commitment issues. And actually building a solid foundation of love happily ever after and joy, right? It could be the other person. It could be both people. There is... Yeah, but now they're saying there's also this happily ever after does have something to do because the Seven of Cups can represent also extreme joy and happiness. But I feel like the overall message is to keep building, keep dreaming in a positive light about all the good that can come in regards to someone else here who wishes the best for you and them. Okay, I, I to be honest with you, like not to be honest because I'm being honest, but the, the biggest message I get is I do see you and another person reaching that happily ever after situation away from this negative thing that might have occurred in your past. I feel like this energy is just going to be gone. You know, a lot of it's going to have to do with your choices and decisions you make, but I see you being very happy in the end. I really do. Sag, I do. I feel like if that's something you want, I feel like another person wants that too. They could be born in the year of the snake, year of the rooster, year of the monkey, year of the pig, year of the dog, year of the goat, year of the dragon. They could be. One more. Or year of the rat, okay? That could be you. It could be them. It could be both of you. It doesn't matter. It's just... It's still your message. That's how I feel. Let me just get some messages of love. See what else shows up here for you. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. Okay. There's someone in your life who's unable to give you all you deserve. And when that energy shows up in your life, it's, you got to recognize that. You got to say, okay, this, this person is unable, which means either they're unable or they're in incapable. And you got to give that love to yourself, right? Don't try to get things from people who aren't capable of giving them to you, right? Because then it's like if you go to the jewelry store and they're not capable of selling you something because, I don't know, for whatever reason, they, they just can't sell it to you, right? Maybe you don't have enough money or, or it's just so precious and all that they're decided that they're not going to sell it to anybody. And for you trying to get that would be, you might as well just break in the windows and go steal it. Like that's, you're going to get it in, big trouble for that you're going to suffer the consequences if you're trying to take something that's not available to you right no you're not going to end up in jail you might some people do they go in these crazy fits trying to get somebody to, to control them and do stuff that they want but you're the one who's going to suffer in the end because you're not going to have it anyway because it's not available to you so give to yourself right give to yourself play hard right now Sagittarius find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other be happy and also make a decision about this relationship Maria there's a decision you need to make your, your intuition already knows so trust your intuition trust what your gut tells you let's see what your cosmic insight message is going forward okay there might be a water sign who's very significant in your life at this time positive or negative i don't know cancer scorpio or pisces and there's something about that water sign that you need to say no to not the right time okay all right it might be a water sign in your life who's just a liar be careful a water sign cancer scorpio pisces very sneaky yeah there's your sign okay you might be getting a new pet Okay, pets, our current pet will be um, very significant. There's also intimacy, sexual chemistry, and reminiscing with someone you're close to. Um, and also manifest. Tell the, tell the universe exactly what you want. And I always say, it's like when you go to the restaurant and you're going to order a steak. 
Well, yeah, okay. We know you want a steak, but how do you want that steak? That's what you need to tell the server. That's what you need to tell the restaurant. Yeah, or the universe. <laughs> if the universe was a restaurant, could you imagine? But it is. Seriously. Like, if you tell the universe, hey, I want a steak, they might bring you a steak that's the opposite of how you like it. You have to be specific. And even with God, you know, or the universe or whatever, the way you manifest stuff is when you're clear about what you want. Yeah. That's your message. Let me get a couple of charms. And then we're going to move on here. And I'll be back in a couple of weeks. Do your other message. Okay, wow. Holy. Well, that's never happened before. You've got three stars. And an, and you have an axe. At least I think that's an axe. That's some, some kind of medieval axe. I don't know what the heck that represents. But um, for some of you, I feel like there's a message here that you need to cut somebody off on both, both ends. Two people need to be cut off out of your life. And I just heard somebody's name starts with a B, uh, the letter B. Um, I don't know. That could be you. could be somebody else. There's a B. Somebody has a B in their name. Um, I feel like this message is you need to cut both. It cuts both ways. Something here. You need to either cut. You need to cut two things off. But as far as like these stars go, wow, you've got a sapphire star and you have, so a five pointed flower, right? You've got these two stars, big star, little star, and then this little flower in your life. <laughs> Something to do with a star. There's, there's a, there's a star flower. Okay. They're saying a star flower. I don't know. There's something going on here with a five pointed star. Very significant for you, Sagittarius. All right, I'm going to leave your reading there. I will be back. I love the color sapphire. I will be back in two weeks to do a follow-up reading. So I hope you guys have a wonderful next two weeks. And I will see you back here all very, very soon. Take care. Bye. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like two. You made this mess.